Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Just wanted to do a video about what I'm reading now and what I read this last week. I say this last week because I DNF'd three books and I'm not usually one to DNF books. As I mentioned in my bookish facts video, it's something I struggle with and there's this big internal debate. Should I finish it? What if it gets better? Blah, blah, blah. But this week I just was on a roll and I just gave up on three books just like that. So I did want to take time to talk about that. The first book that I DNF'd was a buddy read that I was doing with Brittany over at Under the Radar Books. We both had an advanced reader copy of The Swan Book by Alexis Wright, I want to say. Now the thing with The Swan Book is that it's very dense. It takes place in a dystopian future in Australia where all where a tribe of aboriginals are forced to live on this ship in this swamp that is surrounded by black swans. And as interesting as that sounds, we just had the hardest time with it. It is so dense and difficult to understand the language. I just we read like 20, 30 something pages and really could not even tell you what had happened in those 30 pages. It was just very difficult to understand. The writing was very disorienting. I just honestly felt like it was written for someone way smarter than me. I felt like everything was just going over my head. I don't know if it would have helped to maybe have a little more knowledge of Australian history and the and Aboriginal history in Australia, anything like that. I have no background in that. So I felt like the whole book, I was just really lost and we decided that it was just not worth the effort and that this book was not for us, at least not right at this moment. The writing was absolutely beautiful if I knew what was going on or what it was trying to say. The second book that I DNF'd was also a buddy read that I was doing with Kate over at Kate Howe. As I've mentioned before, we're really good friends, but we have very different tastes. And as much as we enjoy reading together, um, outside of like classics, it's very hard to find things that we both like. So we picked this book because it was a compromise on both of our parts. I don't like reading YA and Kate doesn't like like darker things. <laughs> So we decided on a compromise and we picked The Diviners by Libba Bray. This is a YA novel about a girl who can talk to spirits. So the part that was for me was that it was dark and about spirits and Ouija boards and ghosts. And the part that was for her was that it was a lighter read. It was a period piece that took place in the 20s. But we just, it was definitely not our thing. Not at all. I could not get over the fact, this is just, it's a pet peeve of mine in writing when books take place in a different decade and the authors maybe think that the reader has amnesia every page and feels the need to remind you that we're in a certain decade. This was definitely the case with this book. I don't know if Libba Bray had a hat where she just put all these terms that were just, that had to do with the 20s and would just pick five and just put them on every page. The first page, it was like, oh, speakeasy, prohibition, flapper, Fitzgerald, old sport. All these things were just being thrown around constantly and constantly, just needing to remind you that we're in the 20s. I get it, we're in the 20s. I didn't forget like last page when some character said old sport after every sentence. You know, it was just too grating, too annoying. I couldn't, it, it was not for me. I did not finish it, I'm sorry. <sighs> and so I just felt so free. And I was on this roll where I just was like, life's too short. So since I was on this roll, I decided to DNF the book that had just been getting pushed farther and farther down my currently reading stack. And that was The Light Between Two Oceans by M.L. Studman. I know, I know there's a movie coming out and usually that would be enough motivation for me to read it, but the plot just wasn't compelling. I just found myself really not caring what the outcome was of this plot. And in case you don't know or haven't seen the trailer that is like absolutely everywhere right now, it is about a couple that 
works at a lighthouse on an island off of Australia. Long story short, they find a baby, the wife wants to keep it, the husband does not want to. And when they go back to the mainland, they find basically the woman whose baby it is, who is very sad and thinks that the baby died at sea. They have this struggle about whether they should give the baby back or keep the baby since they've had her for so long. And I honestly just found myself really not caring what happened and not caring about these characters. So I googled what happened and I don't regret my decision not to finish this. It's just not my thing. Probably will not watch the movie because like I said I just didn't think it was that interesting of a plot and I found myself not even caring what happened or what they decided. So right now what I'm currently reading are all buddy reads. Um, the first thing I am reading I started yesterday with Valentina over at like Tito in Spain and that was Americana by Chimamanda and Goza Adichie. I hope I said that right. So we read the first chapter, I think it's part one, then it starts part two, I think it was like 45 pages. I really enjoy the writing so far. I am not sure where the plot is going to go or if it's something that I usually like in book, so it'll be interesting how that is handled in this book. In the next book I'm reading, since Brittany and I had such a fail on Swan Book, we decided to read Swamplandia together by Karen Russell. Um, this is definitely something that we are both into. We like kind of this quirky magical realism type of thing and I am really really enjoying it so far. I know it has mixed reviews on Goodreads and it seems like the people who didn't like it were not a big fan of the ending so I am not there yet. I'm a little over halfway through so so far I'm really enjoying it. I'm really hoping that the ending doesn't let me down. That just seems to be a common thing around people who have read this. So I'm hoping that's not the case with me. And the last thing I am reading right now, I am reading with Maddie over at the Maddie Hatter and we are reading Night Film by Marisha Pessel. This is a really fun book to buddy read because there are so many theories thrown at you that you can just be like, well what if this and what if that? This book has been everywhere but in case you don't know what this book is about, this book is about an investigative journalist and a cult horror movie director named Stanislas Cordova is known for making just these crazy horror movies that aren't even allowed to be aired in the United States like people get together and watch them in tunnels and they just have this crazy reputation for being just crazy works of art and he's a very reclusive and mysterious guy no one's even seen him for 20 years so his daughter is found dead they think it's a suicide um, but the investigative journalist in this novel does not think it's a suicide. He starts trying to figure out what happened to her and just getting sucked into all these different directions and finding out all these crazy things about her and about this very reclusive family and about basically what happened during the last few weeks of her life and trying to piece together what he thinks happened in interviewing people and it is just so interesting. I absolutely love it. This is definitely going to get a full review when I'm done with it. So that is what I am reading right now. What are you guys reading today? I would love to know. Please tell me in the comments and if you've read any of these books and want to give me your two cents about them, I would also love to hear that. Also, what are your thoughts on DNFing? Are you someone to push through a book or are you someone who says life's too short and puts it down? I said, I'd love to know. This is a discussion. Talk with me. Hey guys, Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.